For dinner tonight we are having these chicken and maple hot dogs from Tesco. It's just something quick and easy tonight and we're just serving that with some chips and corn on the cob. We are just back in from a day in St Andrews at Snacks. I know it's chips. And we have got ourselves a fresh supper um, with some pickles and a wee tub of gravy. It's a bit late so we only had a little small tub. So we're going to have this now and I'm yep. going hopefully on tomorrow it. will be a proper home cooked meal. I'm sure it will be. For dinner tonight I'm going to be making our favourite chicken, red onion and cheese pizza. What I do is I uh, cook my chicken in one of these just to make it all nice and um, flavourful um, and then that's what I top on the pizza so it's basically a sweet chilli chicken pizza. We've had this a good few times now and it's really really nice. Um, it's normally the Maggie bags that you have, I've never used the Coleman's ones, so I'm not sure what they'll be like but I'll let you know. So obviously I'll just put on a red onion, I've got this red pepper to use so I think I might um, cut that up, pop that on the pizza as well. And I'm going to be making my own little um, tomato base for it, tomato sauce. I think I've got, yeah I've got tomato puree so what I'm going to do is, you can either use passata or anything really but I think tomato puree um, maybe mixed with a wee bit of passata and some Italian seasoning just for the base. Um, use bread flour. I'll put a recipe that I'm using in the description box if you want to use it. Um, so I just need the bread flour, the yeast, um, a wee bit of salt. Um, yeah, the dough is the hardest bit of this, really, but it's not, it's not even hard. Um, but yeah, so I'll just top it with some mozzarella. So I will show you the process of me making the dough, making the chicken, and then it all plated up as always. At this point I forgot to put the lukewarm water into the oil and the yeast mix. Um, you'll probably see me realise that mistake and try and fix it. And it actually did work out quite well. Here I am just adding in um, the water as well. Um, I'd do this quite a really messy way. I should really do it in a bowl. But this way works for me and it, it looks like it's not going to come together but it does in the end. And now I just leave it in a flowered bowl with a damp tea towel over the top for about an hour just so it doubles in size.
Now I'm on to just making a really quick side salad. Instead of Eliza having a sweet chilli pizza, I'm going to put in um, one of these for her and, have, and she can have some carrots with it and some chicken um, on the side. Um, I think she'll like that better and that looks quite nice as well. It's a cheesy tomato -y pizza with a cauliflower base and it's by the Ella's Kitchen. So now that the chicken's cooked, I'm just cutting it up into chunks so I can top it over the top of the pizza. And I also noticed that the, all the kind of sweet chilli sauce that was the bottom of the bag was a really good addition to the tomato -y pizza sauce. Um, it gave it a nice sweetness and it also tied in the chicken flavours and it made it a better consistency as well. Mantle. And here we go, all plated up. Um, the pizza actually worked out quite well, even though I made a mistake with the oil and the um, yeast and the water and stuff. But it actually looks really nice. There's a nice crust on it, and it's nice and thin, just the way we like it. So I'm going to have that with some salads. I'm going to put some of this fig glaze on the salad, and the other ones in the oven just now. We've still got a half left as well, so we might have um, pizza tomorrow as well. Um, but I think it looks really nice. So we're just going to dig into this now. For tonight's dinner, we are having a chicken and chorizo paella. So I've got all the ingredients here. It's quite a simple one. So it's two chicken breasts, a chorizo. I'm not sure whether I'll use the whole thing, um, but I'll see um, a chicken stock and some chopped tomatoes, a red pepper and some paella rice. So I will show you the process of me making it. Sorry about that noise in the background. I forgot to say I'll also be using uh, one white onion and um, a garlic clove as well. So I'm going to start with cutting the onion, just finely diced onion um, and I'll set that aside. I'm just going to cut all my veg first. I'm just adding in some pepper um, for more like, kind of added veg. Um, the recipe also doesn't call for chopped tomatoes either, but again, 
I just like adding that into things, um, just because it's it, like it's more veg really. Um, try to get more veg in our diets, and I think that won't go wrong. If anything, it'll just make it more colourful. I'm just cutting it up really finely. Um, I'm actually going to cut up the chicken really finely as well, just so it's. Um, easy for Eliza to eat as well. I'm now just going to cut up the chorizo and the chicken. I'm just going to cut it into um, small pieces. I really don't like touching chicken, so this is why I'm using a knife and fork. So that is all my ingredients ready. I've got the diced chicken, I've got the pile of rice all weighed out. I need 250 grams of that. Some onion, garlic and red pepper. The chorizo just roughly chopped. The chopped tomato is there ready and waiting. I also forgot to mention some paprika and some parsley as well. And I've got the chicken stock over there ready to go as well. So let's just get it on and get it cooked up. Once it comes to a boil, you want to just turn the heat down and cover it. I don't have a lid for this pan, I've only got tin foil, so I'm just going to cover it with some tin foil for about 15 minutes until it's all nice and thick. And then I'm just going to add in the chicken and chorizo, and then that's it.
we'll just take a wee bit of the rice out without the chicken streaks so, um, for Eliza to have because I think the chicken and um, streaks will be, will be a wee bit chewy for her. So this is Eliza's all dished up. She's just got some of the paella rice with the tomatoes and a couple of bits of chicken, but not too much, just in case it's too chewy for her. And she's got that with a wee sausage roll and a corn in the cob. And I've just topped her with some mozzarella as well. For dinner tonight, I'm going to be using this turkey mince. So this was the mince that was I had a terrible date on it, so I had to freeze it. Um, so I defrosted it last night, and now I'm going to be making um, some turkey stuffed peppers. Um, so look at the size of this pepper. I mean, how can you really stuff that? It's tiny. Um, but I'll try my best. This one looks like quite a good one to stuff. Um, so basically, it's just going to be a turkey bolognese, um, and then. I'm going to mix that in with some rice, um, so it's a kind of turkey, rice, bolognese mix, and then I'm going to stuff it into some roasted um, peppers, and then top it with some cheese. Um, I'm also going to cut up this potato and make some wedges as well, um, so you apply the carrots in there as well. I've also got some frozen mushrooms that I'm going to put through it as well, uh, so I'll show you the process of me making it. I'm just going to start by cutting the veg, so the onion, the carrot, the potatoes and the peppers. This is actually quite a small onion so I might have to add another one in. Is anyone else excited for Love Island to start back? It's like my absolute guilty pleasure, <laughs> I love it. But the only thing is, it's going too late for me now. I can't stay up past nine these days. Let me know in the comments if you are a Love Island lover or hater. Don't judge me for it. <laughs> I'm also loving The Handmaid's Tale just now. Does anyone else watch that? Let me know in the comments if you're watching it. And don't leave any spoilers if you've watched it up to date with the Americans. Um, because they watch it um, before us. So I've just started season one of The Handmaid's Tale, um, it's on channel 4 now um, and they're putting them out every week and I'm so used to binge watching stuff so it's a bit annoying having to wait every week for a new episode but it is such a good show, it is a bit disturbing and like it's quite upsetting as well like the parts of it, I don't even know why I put myself through it but the acting is unreal and it just makes you think like imagine the world was like that um it's crazy it's scary um yeah so let me know in the comments if you're watching Handmaid's Tale or if you're not what are you watching I'm just wanting the carrot diced nice and finely For the peppers, right, this is the tiniest pepper ever, but Eliza's having this tonight, I think, or maybe she's not. I can't say what she's having yet, um, but I might just make a wee small one just because it's cute and see what. Maybe I should take the lid off this one, like kind of pack the chilli, the chilli, the bolognese in the middle. I don't know whether that would work. 
I just might do that with all of them just because they're a bit small. Normally if it's a big paper I cut them in half and fill each side. But because these are so small like little cups we could actually just fill them like that couldn't we? So I've just cut up the potato and um, into wedges and I'm going to just pop them into the oven. Normally I parboil them um, but I've got a wee bit of time today so I'm just going to put them straight in and I'm using this Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. There's a wee food truck um, near us and it does all this fresh amazing burgers, seafood, shrimp tacos, um, chicken tacos, chicken burgers, katsu curries and they use this seasoning and it is so good. I got this off of Amazon. It's a wee bit spicy though, but it's really nice. I'm just going to shove them into the oven. And then I'm going to get cracking with the bolognese. So I'm just wanting the carrots and onions and garlic to soften up. And then I'm going to put the turkey mince in. So, a real life moment, the turkey mince wasn't defrosted properly. It was not left out the fridge. It was left in the fridge and it didn't defrost. But not to worry, I've just popped it back in just to defrost some more and we'll have it tomorrow night. So, the pre-prepared peppers are all in a container ready for tomorrow night. Mix of the onion and garlic. I'll put that in a container and have that in the fridge as well. So tomorrow night's dinner is pretty much prepped. Um, yeah, so that'll be what we're having tomorrow night. So. It's the next day now and I finally got my mince defrosted. So I'm going to just start by browning the turkey mince and then just adding in the veg that I prepped yesterday. I'm also going to add in some frozen mushrooms and some frozen spinach as well just to add in some more veg. Um, so I'm just going to speed this up and get on with it. I'm also going to add in some tomato puree. So for the peppers, I'm just going to pop them in the microwave for about two minutes, I think, just to soften them up. And then I'm going to put them in the baking tray and then fill them with the filling and then just bake them. I'm just going to fill the peppers with the mix. That's us all dished up. We've just served it with some of this um, Uncle Ben's rice um, just for ease and just a little bit of um, lamb's lettuce on the side and it looks amazing. It smells lovely as well. And this is mine. Just got a wee one here. 
and this is Eliza's and I'm going to try her with one as well. We'll probably cut this up for her but she's got a wee nice wee mini one and some rice and some um, pepper pig faces. So this is packed full of spinach, mushroom, tomatoes, peppers, everything. Um, so much veg in this so hopefully she likes it. And we're just going to go and tuck into this now. For dinner tonight, we are just having a simple dinner of some baked potatoes with, oops, <laughs> chopping the tuna, with some tuna and mayo and maybe just having a wee salad on the side. So I'll just show you all plated up. And here's dinner tonight. So Eliza's got some potato, tuna and beans with some cheese and some carrot sticks. That's Jamie's and this is mine. And I just want to say thank you so much again for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing what we had for dinner this week. Um, I put these up every Wednesday if you want to um, subscribe and come back and see what we're making next week. It's always something different. Um, it's just kind of everyday family life and real life meals on this channel. Um, and I hope it gives you a wee bit of inspiration for what to make in your house. Um, so yeah, I'd love to have you here if you want to stick around. And please remember to like and leave a wee comment. I love chatting to you in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!